Sam Meeker's journal. Keep out. That means you, Tim. April nineteenth, seventeen seventy-five. Journal. Today we have beaten the British. I have come home with the victory. I felt so proud. All of the attention was on me. Of course, I ignored it to get more attention. Father seems to be holding on to his temper. He also seems mad that I have chosen to fight against the king, unlike himself. He finally lost his temper when I refused to call the British Army men anything except lobster bags. Our tavern was bringing us money, but not enough so that we could quit farming. I am tired of all the work. The travelers are quickly filling up the beds in the top bunks. Our small kitchen is also getting heavy air from all the cooking. Summer, 1775. Journal. I have taken father's bound best. I know stealing is a sin and sins are bad, but I need it for the war. I have tried asking him nicely, but to no avail. I had no choice but to steal it. I think my undoing was telling Tim. Luckily, I made him swear that he wouldn't tell anybody. I snuck down at bedtime. I was about to get away with it until father came, fuming. I needed the brown bus. It was the only gun I didn't have to pay for. I had no choice but to remove it from its rack and run away with it, probably for good. November, 1776. Journal. I have feared that father has died. At first I heard, I heard that a man was kidnapped on a route between Reading and Verplex Point. It sounded a lot like the route my family takes every year. I decided to do some more digging. It turned out that it was Life Maker, my father. Shortly I began getting letters from my family, explaining the details. I believed that their goal was to persuade me to come home. I did not have the strength nor the will to reply, but they would not stop. No matter our arguments, I was still sad that father had died. I dare not dwell on it for long, but to think that the man who helped birth me, dead, I shall not dwell on it any longer. I am getting ready for an upcoming battle. I have sharpened my bay bayonet and made sure I was strong and fit for the battle. January 1779 Journal I have been taken away into prison. The army has been so mistreated and underfed that we are hardly ready for battles anymore. The soldiers have fixed this by stealing, even from patriots. Colonel Parsons thinks that I am one among those. I would not steal from my own family. Timmy and I were talking, until we heard that something was disturbing the cattle. I had Timmy stay and herd the four remaining cattle back inside the barn, while I was in search of the cowards who stole from my family. I saw the first one, and leveled my musket with him. He would pay. The other one ran in behind me and stabbed my back. They beat me up and took me in as the actual thief. I saw Timmy standing, waiting. I do not know what must have been going through his mind. I told him to get Colonel Parsons. I was so glad. He ran like the wind. Oh, luck be with me. February 1779 Journal They found me guilty. I am not mad. I am not bursting into tears either. It is so ironic. Only the day before his death does a man begin to look deeply into his soul. What is life? What does it mean? What happens when we die? I am Catholic, but a dying man wonders, is it true? Is your life a fake or is there actually God? I will not have to wait long to find out. I will visit my dying place and never come back. I think that some day my journal will be noticed. It will be read. That is why I want to write my every experience here. Maybe with my help, the world can become peaceful. War is a brutal thing. The innocent die, the guilty survive. Everything is turned upside down. I probably should have listened to father. I still feel like I die for a cause. I believe that we will become independent. I am sorry to those who I have caused grief. I will show my family to be strong, not to back down. I owe thanks to Father and all of those who have helped me see the truth. I love them all, especially to me and Mother. Goodbye, Father. You have shown me courage. Goodbye, Mother. You have shown me to be strong. Goodbye, Timmy. You, out of all, have shown me loyalty. You all have helped me survive so far.